Hello and welcome to Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, back at the Roy Thompson Hall red carpet for another gala for TIFF. This time, we're featuring Anna Kendrick's new movie called Alice Darling. And this movie is about abusive relationships and how Anna character and her friends help her get out of it. Now before we get into today's episodes, I want to remind you that if you haven't already done so, please click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll never miss another episode again. You can also support us on Patreon. That Patreon link is below. No donation is too big or too small as we continue to bring you the best lifestyle content touching also on women's and business issues. You can also support us by ordering a Jeanette's TV t-shirt or sweatshirt. So it looks like this. It looks like this and you can get it with either the Jeanette's, Jeanette's TV and podcast logo and tagline or you can have it with an inspirational saying made by me and a previous guest in a previous episode. The choice is yours. Simply pick t-shirt or sweatshirt and your size and your color and it'll be shipped right to your front door and it will include shipping and handling. So for more details on how to order, please check the link below in the show notes. Now on with today's episode. Hey, it's Jeanette Burke here from Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast with another great outfit provided by Vicki Kishen, owner of Lavender Lily Boutique at Bayview and John in Thornhill. This one is in a French motif, perfect for my Sunday afternoon at the red carpet and perfect for the carpets I'm going to be covering. Now, I've paired it because it's warm. I've paired it with a t-shirt in navy, like a uh, sleeveless t-shirt, so I guess a tank top is really what you want to call it. And I paired it with um, these really neat jeans, which are like a cotton mix in a deep dark blue. So I'm doing all navy today. All my outfits are in navy as opposed to black. Normally I wear black, but this is a wonderful outfit. And Vicky actually helped me put it together. So. If you want great clothing and great style that you will not see everywhere else and you want to stand out the way the stars do, you need to go and visit my friend Vicky Kishen, who's the owner of Lavender Lily Boutique. And she's also the official clothing sponsor for Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. What, what, it, what inspired you to come and write a story, which I believe was filmed in Canada here, very nice uh, story about women who are in abusive situations. This is something that still needs a lot more conversation. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's very common. Uh, and I was really interested in the way that, you know, these types of stories are represented on screen and something like Alice Darling, where, you know, the nature of the abuse is, is not as visible from the outside. And I was interested in how if and how I could bring that to the screen and bring this very internal struggle that the uh, main character is having to life in a visual way. Yeah. And did, where did you get your inspiration from? Where did you draw your stories from? Is anything personal? Um, I mean, I think there's a lot, there's a lot of me in the script. There's a lot um, that I draw from, you know, stories that your friends tell, things that you talk about when you get together. Um, and people who collaborated on the film brought their own experiences as well. As well. So it's, you know, a, an amalgamation for sure. Okay, thanks so much for stopping by. Wish you all the best. Thank you. So you are the... Producer. producer and One uh, of the many producers. That yes. More of them did the work. But what drew you to this project? Basically... Um, the two key producers on this were Katie and Lindsay, and they were really passionate. And then Mary, the director, is amazing. So when you start talking to them and feeling their passion, it felt like something we could do. And when Anna signed on, it just changed everything, right? Once Anna Kendrick was attached, you could see her in the role, and we know that she just has an incredible draw on her own. Like, no matter what Anna does, she has something like what Jennifer Aniston had when she just left Friends. Like, the kind of, she has a fan base that will see her do anything. So when you hear that, you go like, okay, in this kind of role, it's perfect. 
you play an abuser. How do you prepare to prepare f to, to play an abuser of that type of role? Up to you. Thank you. Um, how do you prepare to do that? Same way that you do any other character. You try to think about what's going on inside of his head uh, and you look between the lines of the things that he says and try to work out how he gets from A to B and where some sort of short circuits happened and changed his mood. Um, and do a lot of thinking about uncomfortable things like that, about how people can behave badly. You think there's enough dialogue on men who behave this way? Well, it's, it's very prevalent in our culture at the moment. You know, there's a long overdue, um, you know, recognition of some of these more subtle forms of abuse, which can often go undetected, so much so that the victim doesn't even, wouldn't even put the label of victimization on it. So I think there is a big discussion about that happening right now, and I, I hope the film explores that in a really nuanced way and, and uh, not in a basic way. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, and again, your jacket is fab. Oh, thank Make you. Make sure you audition for James Bond. I can see his next yeah. <laughs> Did you like being at college for the shoot? I love being at college, but you know what I feel is not 100% accurate about, uh -oh, uh -oh, truth, yes. about your picture is that I wouldn't, I've never kayaked. Oh, well, I, this was, my manifesting it. You oh, be. oh, I need to do it. Yeah, you should come to Canada, get in a canoe. I would like to do that. I've never paddleboarded either. What? I know, I need to try it. All right, I don't know what you, are you from England? I'm from England. Yeah, you got to get over here. We don't do that much paddleboarding. Oh, he wants that, this photographer guy. Would you compose with the, uh... Should I show you my picture? Yes. Or your picture? Yes, I drew it, yes. No problem. Thank you so much. I even, Thank what, you. for actually, I did draw your little hey. earrings there, so. Uh, thank you. you Thanks. Hi, Jeanette from Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. Hi, nice to meet you. Beautiful, to meet. beautiful suit. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's Alexander okay. McQueen. Yeah, and the bag goes great with it too. So, quick question: You're the director. Yes. Uh, what was your foresight? What did you want to see come out of this picture? What's the sol the single message you want people to get out of this? I think the single, the simplest way to put it is that abuse comes in many forms. It's not always exclusively physical. It's true. Um, so that's the simple takeaway. And is there anything else you would like to say about your role as director in this film? I suppose there are lots of uh, films that deal with abuse, and some of them are looking at the more extreme end of the spectrum. I think what we were interested in doing was trying to find the nuance and the authenticity and help the audience live the experience through the central character, which Anna plays so beautifully. Um, so my hope is that the film will feel like something, if somebody is going through this, that they can possibly identify and understand that the first thing to do is recognize that they're not in a good relationship and step away from it. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. What attracted you to this particular role? Um, the script, honestly. Um, I, you know, Alana Francis really captured this, um, this tone and atmosphere that was really interesting to me and um, managed to... Uh, create this kind of uh, like hanging question throughout a, a hundred page script and uh, that felt really kind of dangerous and exciting to me and it felt interesting to me to try to kind of break out of the way that I usually look at scripts and characters and um, try to really focus on building a performance over an entire movie rather than falling into that kind of trap of you know, thinking about each take and each frame um, as something that like needed to exist on its own. So it was a sort of a exciting and slightly terrifying challenge and I was surrounded by great people. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for being with us today on Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV podcast. I'm your host Jeanette Burke, signing off at the red carpet for the movie Alice Darling starring Anna Kendrick. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your family and friends. You will find us everywhere on the video or TV side, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Vimeo, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, and the list goes on. On the audio podcast side, iHeartRadio, Apple, Spotify, Anchor, Buzzsprout, BuzzFeed, and that list goes on too. For a complete list of where to watch and listen to us, please check the link in the show notes below. And until next time, continue to be fabulous. This is Jeanette Burke, your host, signing off.